First up tonight, it's being called a side effect of the triple demic. The makers of the antibiotic amoxicillin say they're in short supply of the drug because of the unprecedented number of kids with respiratory illnesses. Fox 12's Connor McCarthy spoke to one Portland parent about her struggle to find the drug, and he joins us now to tell us about when the supply might begin to return to normal. Connor? Well, Anna, Kate Nutting says that she is shocked that um, her local pharmacy does not have amoxicillin for her child who was battling an ear infection not too long ago. I also sp spoke to uh, this pharmacy right here behind me, and the head pharmacist says that um, he's having trouble keeping his shelves stocked as well. The American Academy of Pediatrics is advising doctors to find alternatives to amoxicillin because they say they see the shortage lasting several more months. It's an antibiotic that is commonly used to treat a simple ear infection for children, but now it's in short supply. I don't have the time to go on a goose, wild goose chase, not knowing kind of how long I will be looking for something with a sick kid in the car crying and uncomfortable. Portlander Kate Nutting says a few weeks ago, her nine month old was prescribed amoxicillin to treat an ear infection. It's a weaker antibiotic that's easier for young children to handle. But when she visited her pharmacy, they were all out. Ear infections used to be this thing that we could all handle, right? It's like, okay, at least it's not RSV, at least it's not the flu, at least it's not COVID. He's got an ear infection, we should be able to nip this in the bud. And now even having an ear infection feels like this added big complex stressor that didn't used to exist. The American Academy of Pediatrics says drug companies that make amoxicillin blame the triple demic for the low supply. The drug is not used to treat viral illnesses, but the AAP says doctors have been prescribing it presumptively. As a result, those children who need it for bacterial infections, like ear infections, are forced to choose different options. They offered, you can take this prescription and drive around and try to find amoxicillin, but there's no guarantee how many pharmacies you'll need to go to. Um, or they offered to prescribe a little bit more, they called it like a wider spectrum antibiotic, more intense, so a little rougher on the little systems. For pharmacists like Tan Lee at Lake Hare Pharmacy, he says that turning parents away is a hard thing to do. I keep trying every single day to make sure I have enough in stock, but, but you try, but uh, sometimes you, you can't get it. And Anna Tan Lee says that uh, if you have any questions about alternatives to contact your doctor, not the pharmacist. And when it comes to Kate, she chose the option of giving her child a stronger antibiotic, and it did come with some side effects, but she says her doctor recommended using a probiotic to replace some of that good bacteria inside the body that was killed off in uh, that more extreme and more stronger antibiotic. Live in Northeast Portland, Connor McCarthy, Fox 12 Oregon. Information, Connor, thank you very much.